What up, y'all? This is Nate Hill coming at you with another video. GC Global Consilience, gathering what we know to help someone else. Much love, much health, and much wealth. My name is Nate Hill. Let's go. All right, so what we are doing is we are in story mode, okay? This is Consilience story number 12, the route driver, okay? Traits, like in every story, traits, beginning scenario, problem, narrative, then solution. I will give some side commentary to give more context to the character and to the story. So let's get right into it. Woo, I'm super enthusiastic. Um, traits, okay. A very efficient route driver, never is behind on his stops and prides himself on great customer service. Okay, so that's good stuff. Beginning scenario, okay. Driver has 20 stops today and three customer service issues with their product. So he needs to decide how to make his day most efficient. Okay, so here we go, problem narrative. Let's see what happens. Pay attention to how he, uh, how the character uh, uses the approaches and uses the, uh, the problem, how it arises and, and how he converges on conclusions to solve the problem, okay? Here we go. So today, the route driver has a normal day but needs to tend to some of the customer service issues. So I wanted to highlight the different approaches on how to attack the day. First option, he is looking at his servicing the customers first, then proceeding to do the route after. Second, he is looking to service the customers after finishing the 20 stops for the day. Then he checks to see where the characters or, or the, where the customers are in relation to the route and figures when he might be able to service them and when he's in the vicinity. So you see, you know, first option, second option, kind of like evaluating the region, kind of seeing where he's at uh, and what he kind of needs to do. So this approach is the best approach because he calls his customers, lets them know when he's going to be in the area and sets up a time to service the customers and if they're willing to be serviced for that day and shifts the day um, and so he can shift the day. Uh, because he took the time to call and set up a time that was most convenient to them. That's pretty much the reason why. If he was to choose servicing the customers before and after, or after, he would have been all over the place and probably wouldn't have gotten anything done. So the route driver finished the route and serviced all three customers with customer satisfaction and even had time to stop for lunch midday. We haven't even had lunch yet. Uh, so just another day for this efficient route driver. So as you can see, he did the first option of maybe doing the customers first, uh, or he did doing them last, you know. Uh, so that's kind of what he did. And so what he did was he had all the stops and then the customers that he had to service, and he called them to see when they would be in the, when he would be in the vicinity. So that way, along his way, he can do the route and service those three customers that are prioritized and make it most convenient for them and it's efficient for himself, which is a great thing. That's how you solve problems. Uh, so as you can see, going in, so what, how he solved this issue and what his solutions were was he figured out all the different approaches to the problem slash dilemma and picked the most efficient option and then executed the approach to solve the problem. So he figured it out, uh, made the best option, picked the best option, and then executed. So that's what we like to hear, that's what we like to see. So there you have it, Consilient Story number 12, The Route Driver. My name is Nate Hill, GC, Global Consilience, much health, much wealth, and much love, gathering what we know to help someone else. Thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and peace.